But this year, scientists at the University of Innsbruck in Austria created a supersolid in the lab for the first time. The supersolid state of matter is uh, one of these unique situations in which you can really see directly the impact of quantum mechanics on uh, measurable properties of a system. The results may help explain how matter behaves in some of the most extreme conditions in the universe. In 1937, scientists cooled liquid helium-4 to just above absolute zero. They observed a new phase of matter, the superfluid, which flows like a fluid with zero viscosity. Here you see the liquid passing into the superfluid phase. In 1949, the future Nobel laureate Lars Onsager predicted that this frictionless behavior could be partly explained by a bizarre phenomenon, the formation of vortices, or microscopic quantum tornadoes. That's really the fingerprint, I would say even the hallmark of superfluidity. So there is a very simple picture to uh, understand this. Imagine that you have um, a bucket. If you put a superfluid inside this bucket, if you rotate the bucket very slow, the superfluid would just stay at rest. It would not move at all. Then you exceed a critical velocity, and then the system has to respond in some way. 